Hi and welcome to this tutorial on how to get proper root motion animation from Mixamo into Unreal Engine using Blender. I'm using Blender uh, version 2.78 but you can use uh, a newer version if you like. Um, I've set up, my, set up my scene here in Blender uh, using a, a metric system and the unit scale is set to 0 0.01. I have uh, frames per second set to 30 and the clip range from 1 mm to 10 km. I've enabled a plugin that we're going to use later. Here are the user preferences, choose add-ons and enable, um, you can search for it called, it's called motion capture tools. Um, you need to enable, enable this add-on called motion capture tools because it has some really nice tools that we'll be using later. With the scene set up uh, like this, you can choose file and save startup file. This way you'll have the scene that is set up for Unreal Engine uh, whenever you open uh, Blender. In Mixamo, you can choose to make your character infuse and upload it to uh, and rig it uh, on the Mixamo website. Uh, and then uh, download it as an FBX. I've uh, made a character, uh, a Viking character here that we're gonna download. So choose your character, choose Q download, choose the FBX format and T pose. Now this character I'm gonna be using uh, as a temporary character to uh, get the, all the animation into Unreal Engine and then later retarget it to a, a, a different character that I have set up in Unreal Engine already. If you want, you can just use this Mixamo character, um, but I, I've noticed that using the new version of Fuse, the beta version, the materials are a bit uh, weird, so um, I've chosen not to choose that. Um, save your character as in, uh, in a folder on your computer. And the easiest way, way actually to um, to add root motion to a character from Mixamo in in uh, Blender, let's just import him first. Is to um, choose your your character. Click the armature. Click the armature tab. Rename the armature to root, and you have root motion. Uh, not root motion, a uh, root bone. Then choose export FBX and choose the folder. And very important here uh, on the export FBX presets or the settings, choose minus Y forward and C up. And we will call this root bone. Export it. Go into Unreal Engine, choose a, a folder, right click, import, choose your new uh, FBX with the root bone, open and in the import options you know, you'll just leave everything as it is. On the skeleton choose none because we want Unreal Engine to make a um, skeleton asset for us. Import. Just take a minute. Just ignore this. It means that the Mixamo rig has more bones uh, than the Epic Skeleton rig, and we uh, don't need these bones. Open the skeleton. In the scene setup, choose your skeletal mesh. This way, you can retarget uh, as well. Go to the skeleton tree, and voila, you have a root bone. And we can see that the root bone actually works because the entire character has moved when we rotate the root bone. Save all. This is the character. Now you can use this character if you want to uh, and just uh, import all the animations to this character or you can retarget the, the animations from this character to another character that you already have set up. I'll show you that in the end of the tutorial. Now we need to find an animation that we want to use and um, you can go 
If you go into the store, you can ch uh, choose any animation. Everything is free right now. I have chosen this uh, nice animation right here. And we can see that this is a root animation. It has root animation because the character is actually moving away from the starting point. If it was a, a in-place animation, the character wouldn't move. And this is what we want. So um, go up, Q download, choose FBX, 30 frames per second, no reduction, and without the skin. We already have a character, so we only need the animation. Q the download. And download it. Um, as you can see, I've already done this tutorial before. Save your animation. Go back into Blender, and now we can choose new, and it will re reload the startup file, and we have it set up as we want to. Um, import FBX. Choose the animation we just downloaded. So now that we have an armature into Unreal Engine, it's time to use the animation tools that I mentioned earlier. So choose your armature, go into the armature tab and scroll down to until you see mocap tools. There's a magic button that's gonna uh, save us a lot of headaches later. Uh, if you look up here, you can see that the armature is actually rotated 90 degrees. And this is not what we want because it's going to look really weird inside Unreal Engine. So select the armature, click this button, fix BVH. BVH is a standard mocap uh, format, but it works for this as well. And the, uh, now the armature is suddenly uh, laying down, but you can fix that by rotating it back to its original position. This way it doesn't get cre create any problems for us when we uh, export this into Unreal Engine. Go into edit mode, zoom in, press um, space, type add bone, zoom a little out, choose the hip bone, shift, select the armature bone, control P, or the not the armature bone, of course, the root bone. Uh, choose keep offset. Now we have a bone that is the root bone. Double click it and type root. Now we have a root bone and you could actually export this uh, right back into Unreal Engine, um, but you wouldn't get proper root animation because we have to move some of the translation keyframes from the hips uh, down to the root bone. The way we do this is Go into pose mode, um, select the root bone, and the way you do that is uh, out here in the outliner. You can see uh, you click this little plus sign and you have the root bone. Right click in the transform and insert keyframes. Then I'll just move this over to get a little more space. Go to the graph editor and choose the hips as you can see there are a lot of keyframes and we want the x y and c location animation moved from the hips down to the root bone so what we do is we shift select these three three graphs go to key copy keyframes go back to root select the three location graphs and paste keyframes now we have root motion, and as you can see, if we play the animation, oh, one thing, um, if you go back into Mixamo, you can see uh, that the uh, animation we selected is a, a total 110 frames, or 11 frames, so we uh, want to set that in Unreal, uh, or in Blender as well. Um, we're not going to use the last frame, frame to just set it at 110. Now if we play the animation, you can see that we have root motion as well. The root bone is right here being translated as it was supposed to, but we still have some animation on the hips that we're not interested in. So what you're going to do is choose the hips bone. Um, 
Let's take one at a time. If you hold down control and middle mouse button, you can scale uh, the axis so you can see the keyframes better. Unselect everything. Um, press B on your keyboard. Select all keyframes except the first one and delete them. Then you got get a nice flat line, which is what we want. Now for the Y axis, again, unselect all. I'm gonna scale this a little. Press B to select every keyframe but the first one. Delete them. And for the final one, the C axis, unselect. Press B to select. Delete the keyframes. We can zoom in a little. And just select these two and delete them. That's it. Now, if we play the animation again, we can see that it's playing fine. And the, anim the root bone is animated and following the character, which is uh, actually what it's supposed to do. Go back to object mode, choose file, export, FBX, choose a folder. And remember, we want minus Y forward and C up. And export it. Uh, you can append it with root if you like. Go back into the Unreal Engine. I've created a folder. Right click, choose import and choose the animation that we just exported from Blender. And this is, a, now you choose a skeleton. Remember, we have this uh, Viking root bone skeleton that we imported recently, or just before this. And now you can see, if we go into the animation, you can actually see that um, this red line means that there's root motion. And if we enable root motion, he stays in place. And if you see, click show, process root motion, you can see that he continues. And this means that um, root motion is working. Save the animation. Now, if you want to retarget this animation to another character that you already have in your uh, project, go into the skeleton. Uh, go to retarget manager tab and go down here to set up rig and choose select humanoid rig fill in all the um, the translations so on the left side we have the epic skeleton with all the root name uh, bone names and on the right side we have the mixamo skeleton so root is root so we named that uh, bone correctly and pelvis is the hips spine and so forth clavicle is left shoulder and so clavicle right is right shoulder The neck is the neck. Uh, head is head. Thigh is left upper leg. Calf is left leg. The left foot. The right leg. Right upper leg. And the last one, right foot. Now, if you want to uh, retarget the finger animation as well, you press this button called Show Advanced, and all the fingers will show up as well. For now, we're just going to show use the base animation. Now, as you can see, um, the skeleton that I'm retargeting from is in a T pose. That's the way we exported it from uh, Mixamo, and the character that I'm uh, retargeting to is in the A pose. So we have to um, set up this skeleton to be in the A pose as well. So you choose the right arm first, 
turn it 35 degrees, choose the left arm, rotate 35 degrees, move up top, so you see the character from above, choose the right forearm, rotate about 20, ah, 20 degrees, and the same one for the other arm. Press save pose, now you can view the pose and hide the pose. Go back to your folder with the animation, right click, retarget anim asset, duplicate, choose the skeleton that we just looked at. And now you can see that they are in the same, almost the same pose. And choose, here you can choose which folder uh, the new animation is going to end up in. And then just press retarget. Now the other character has root motion as well. Alright, that's it.